Outside edge. Just one slip and play, but it beats the deep third. Pull deep with the desperate dive. First boundary for the West Indies. Little advancement down the pitch, lofted drive, full face of the bat. And already aggression from Brandon King. Lofted. Gone for it again. Didn't time it all that well, but it was sufficiently good for four. Short. Punished. He was waiting for it. Got it high enough, Ashley, but Brandon King too good. Might be better served trying to do that. Wonderful strike, first six of the match. Brandon King is on fire. Swept straight in line, and the finger goes up. Goes up with confidence. That looked relatively straight. Exceptional start from Yuzvendra Chahal. Slider straight on. Confident appeal. And once more, the finger goes up. Well, Jockey coming up, the original decision is out. Pitching in line, in back in line, Rick is hitting. Can we go back to Greg on field? Greg would ask you to stay with your out decision. Love the shot. Moran making a statement straight away to the delight of the crowd and the youngsters. There he goes again. Nicholas Buran in a no-nonsense mood. 11 from the over, following two wickets. 40 for two after five. Gone again. He has a strike rate of 152 against left arm spin, and they're enjoying it here. Indies signal four by the umpire and Buran is 22 from six. Gotcha. In the air, will it land safely? Yep. Gets to it. Oh, wonderful, magnificent, excellent from Tilak Varma. Really is a wonderful catch. Just watch the way he moves to this. It's going really high in the air, but he has to run some 10 meters to his left and then put in a dive. In the air and clear of the infield. That would relieve a lot of pressure off the West Indies captain. He gets going. Powell gives Kuldeep the charge and gets four of his IPL teammates. Not gone where he wanted. Fielder puts it down. Shubman Gill, such good hands in the slips. Generally a good outfielder will be very disappointed with that. It's in the air. Fielder has to judge it. And I think he just about takes it. It's once again hit into the wind. After playing so well, Nicholas Puran recognizing the challenge of hitting into the wind throughout the course of his innings. Confident from Hetmeyer. It's going to test the outfield. That is terrific timing. It's a positive start for Hetmeyer. In the air, dropped. Chehel this time. Oh... Insults over injury. Rothman Powell powers that for six. Goes high, goes handsome. A power 
powerful striker of the cricket ball, Rob Paul, and he shows that once again, Ian Bishop. Finds the gap. Wonderful timing from Rovman Powell. Shows his power. And now he shows his finesse. But he goes with the wind. Wonderful sound off the bat. That's a monumental blow from the captain. Ashdeep for the penalty mate. Smashed. Caught. Excellence from Aksa Patel. Yes, it's to the favoured hand of Aksa, and he makes no mistake. In there, should be taken, is taken. Surya Kumar Yadav completes the catch. Is it a change of pace? Yeah. Little knuckleball, you could see it floating out there. So there was no pace for Powell to work with, and it was wide up the off stump, so he had to fetch it. Nails it again. Jason Holder will run back, doesn't. Decides against it. Quite inexplicable, really. Doesn't matter if you get out of the last delivery. 149 is where they lend the West Indies off there. Allotment of 20, winning the toss and deciding to bat first, but Mukesh Kumar, an exceptional final two overs from him, along with Ashdeep. Gone. Exceptional stuff from Aki Hussain. Flight, turn, past the outside edge. As expected, this pitch uh, slowing up, drying out, offering turn for the spin option in that of Akil Hussain. Off the mark, wonderful balance and strike. Just marginally off target, off line, and he punishes you. That's class. At least one. Well, it goes for four. Didn't think that he timed it well enough, but gets the boundary, adjusts his line, and disappears for four. Not a lot of peace. Up and over, and all the way with the wind. That's why he was trying to bowl a straight line. Yeah, you can just sense that he's itching to get going. Not exactly where he wanted it. Well, a very aggressive stroke. The last two balls he's faced, he gets the boundary this time. And again, goes down the ground straight to Rodman Powell. I was just sensing that something's got to happen, either boundaries or a wicket. It's the latter. And good use of the angle by Obed McCoy. Just cramping Ishan Kishan. But just turning in his hand. Oh my goodness! The tail of Tilak Varma, the India player, takes off in Trinidad. What a way to get your first international runs. That is Tilak's response. Two sixes in two balls. The talent of Tilak Varma. The future is here for India. Uh, one of his many strengths is game awareness and it's the awareness that will lead to overthrows he played two quality shots to get his first two boundaries he's been gifted a few to the fury of Alzari Joseph to complete the power play with an expensive 17 run over India 45 for two that is safe that is clear that is into the crowd some start this for Tilak Varma. Clever. It's not just power. It's a gift of game sense that we've seen in the IPL. We're now seeing it for India. What a catch! Big moment in the game.
that was always going away from Hetmeyer, going away from him, and he stretched every sinew to get there. Cut away behind point. That awareness as to where the gaps are so ever present in this batting. On leg side, leg side, straight to the fielder. Ball just hanging a bit. But this is really good for Mario Shepard, and he deserves all the applause for that. Properly time. Hardik Pandya, the captain, gets one through that cover region in the air, though, but in full control. Ends the over on the high, 83 for four. Swept powerfully in front of square. Fine stroke by the Indian captain, taking things into his own hands. Just away from the reach of that field at backward point. Despairing dive by Brandon King couldn't prevent the boundary. Good end to the over for India, 98 for four. That's easy runs, cheap runs you would say for India, but they'll take it nonetheless. Shimmy set himself and that wonderful swing we've often seen from Sanju Samson being used to good effect. Flies for six. And he's knocked him over. Big wicket. Captain gone. First ball in this over. Hari Pandya just looking to work it on the one side. Ricochets onto the stumps. Exactly what they needed. Jason Holder delivers. Hit it, he hit it. Kyle Mills hit it. Buran thinks he's got his man. He'll be tight. Wonderful strike, much needed for AXA and India. 22 to get from 13. It's high, it hasn't got enough. Hetmeyer is already caught well today. Hetmeyer takes it. This was the wicket they wanted. AXA Patel tried perhaps to go over long off, but the slower ball once again, the cutter, well watched, well caught. Away for four. First boundary for Ash deep with the bat in T20 internationals. Struck it again. Now two boundaries with the bat in his T20 international career and it's critical. 13 to get from eight. On target, Romario strikes. Sierra Yorker, let's look at that. Slow arm action, zoning into the stumps. Just one again. No, they'll come back for two, there'll be a run out. Wonderful execution, you've heard that word quite a lot in cricket in any format. But this has been exceptional stuff from Romario Shepard. Superb from Romario Shepard. A top class final over. And the West Indies get a victory. They win. By five runs. In fact, four. And they add to what they did on that tour of South Africa where they held their own with a 2-1 victory. Defending 149.
which was slightly under par according to the captain but Jason Holder led the way Akil Hussein was outstanding and Shepard closed out the show along with Obed McCoy brilliant start of his T20 international series